Jod Stinger, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some extraterrestrial, out of this world, and insane alien super trap type beats. Before we get into the tutorial, if you like this shirt, hit up my guy Fredo. They're comfy and fashionable. All right, so this tutorial is gonna be a little bit on the shorter side because the melody is not complicated at all. So let's just dive right into it. The first aspect of the melody is the random axe patch from Omnisphere, and this is what it sounds like. A great basis to start off with when it comes to Super Trap or Alien type of beats is to start off with a high energy ARP. You can get these anywhere from Omnisphere, Hive, Hive is a great one for these types of beats, and you can sometimes find some pretty good ones in Serum. To get this melody, all I did was lay down some bass notes that are one semitone away from each other, and then put them up seven semitones so that they're the fifth of the chord. The next aspect of the melody is the Brain Mismatch preset from Omnisphere, and this is what it sounds like. For this, I'm just playing out the root notes that I had in the first melody, and then I put them up an octave in the second portion. And the final aspect of the melody is this custom bass that I made in Serum. When I told you this tutorial was going to be short, I really meant it, because there's only three aspects to the melody. So this is what the bass sounds like. Now for the mixing on the melody, I routed the two melodic components to this one track, and I threw on OTT with 50% depth, a pair much EQ taking out some lows and then a couple unwanted frequencies, and some effectrix. If you feel like your melody is lacking some sort of flair or complexity, throw on either effectrix or D Blue Glitch. D Blue Glitch is basically just the free version of effectrix, and just play around with some of the sounds on there until you get a sound that you like. So with all the melodic components together, this is what it sounds like. Now that we're done with the melody, let's go into the drums. The first part of the drums that I laid out are the 808s, and all the 808s in this beat are from my Terminus 808 kit. The kit has 100 custom 808s that I made myself in Serum, and it's $30. So if you like the 808s in this beat, feel free to grab it in the link in the description. Corporate spiel aside, this is what the first 808 sounds like. I have it playing a pretty spaced out pattern to leave room for some extra 808s. For these types of beats, a great way to make it sound super chaotic is to integrate multiple 808s. So here is the second 808. And on the 808s, I'm playing around with the octaves, kind of to match the same formula as the melody. And now we have the third and final 808. So all the 808s together sound like this. Next I threw on the snare from Cody and Chemix Essential Kit. And yet another way to make your beats more chaotic and surprising is to not use a standard clap pattern. Usually people will put the claps right here, but I offset it a bit, similar to how drill beats are. Next I have another snare playing some accent notes. After that I have yet another snare playing some more accent notes. So this is what all the snares sound like together. Now we can get into the fun part, the hats. Look at these bad boys. So I'm gonna play it out for you first and then just break it down piece by piece. First, I laid down a basic two-step hi-hat, nothing I really need to go over there. Next, I threw in these exaggerated rolls spread throughout multiple octaves. This first note starts at F-sharp 4 and the last note ends at E2, so it's a pretty broad range there. All I did to get these rolls is I highlighted the note and then hit Alt-U. That brings up this chopping panel where you can adjust the time. After I had those laid out, I went on to the second portion with some really low octaves. Here I have them spiraling down a lot, which is a sound you'll hear a lot in Super Trap. A very quick way to achieve this sound is to grab the paintbrush tool and hold Shift and drag down. 
that will just draw them out for you and it's a whole lot faster than having to take it and drag each individual note down. After that, I just took this first portion and copied it over using Control B. Yet again, for the effects on that, we have Effectrix, which is a very common staple when it comes to Super Trap, especially this X loop downward stare. This is what the downward stare sounds like. Hearing something familiar there? That's used all the time when it comes to Super Trap. Also have some reverse notes and some vinyl notes to cause a sort of tape stop effect, as well as some filtered notes. So with the Effectrix, this is what the hats sound like. And the last portion of the drums are these open hats hitting on the downbeats to make the 808 hit a lot harder. I forgot to mention some more advertisement here. This snare, this hat, and then the open hat can all be found in my Hive stash kit, which is free in the link in the description. So all the components of the drums put together sound like this. And that is sounding super chaotic and all over the place, but that's kind of what you want to go for when making these Super Trap Alien Beats. It sounds like an artist would have a very difficult time rapping on this, but if you get the right artist in tandem with a beat like this, the outcome is crazy. Two of my favorite Super Trap artists are Switty and WTF ILY. WTF ILY is super underrated. I definitely suggest checking him out. Now, the last thing I'm going to go over here is this portion of the verse where I switch up the drums a little bit. I like to do this in my beats because it makes it so that the artist isn't listening to the same drums on loop over and over again. And there's a little bit of variation. All I did for this is changed up the 808 pattern a bit. So this is what the first 808 sounds like. This is what the second 808 sounds like. And this is what the third 808 sounds like. So this is what it sounds like altogether. So that's pretty much all I'm going to cover when it comes to making an alien super trap beat. Hopefully you learned something new today and enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, feel free to subscribe if you want to see new tutorials every Wednesday and Saturday. Sometimes more if I'm feeling productive. Other than that, that's going to be it. Peace.